me a son, nephew, young man. Let me holla at you. Um, I was talking to a cousin of mine. I shouldn't have said that part, but I was talking to uh talking to an acquaintance of mine. We're talking some family and um person he's mentoring everything from everything from career guidance to actually financial assistance decided to go and have a child out of wedlock and you know certain demographics the culture dictates that you're supposed to be happy when that happens and granted a child doesn't ask to be brought into this world however when you bring a child into the world in a, in a situation that is not advantageous um the child looks cute and everything when they're first born but let's be honest what kind of quality of life is a child going to be living we'll put it this way you break the home up, maybe you take a drop down in quality of life. Then you add into the fact you're dealing with unskilled individuals uh, who cannot demand a livable wage. Now you're dealing with another drop in quality of life. You know what I mean? And it's like people have children without planning for them, without thinking about what the child might have to go through without thinking about how it's going to change the adults' lives as well. And, you know, depending on what your situation is, maybe having a kid ain't the best thing to do sometimes. All these babies ain't don't pop into the world by accident, man. You know, so, fellas, you're not going to be able to just tell a woman yeah I don't want a child now and you did not wore a condom and you've inseminated a woman and gotten her pregnant and, and women are more emotional than logical at least 7 to 8 times out of 10 you do have some exceptions but they're very few that woman's gonna want to keep that kid and if you aren't married you, you're risking being on child support and all this kind of stuff here I'm a firm advocate of private marriage contracts. Uh, if I were a young man still looking for children, I would, I would stretch the limits of the law and try my best to have a child with my DNA with a surrogate parent or if it's even possible. And I don't know just yet. I'm not that age anymore where I'm looking. But once my son gets that age, we'll start seriously exploring these options. But I think the ideal situation at this point would be to have some type of arrangement in your private marriage contract that says you're signing, uh, Miss Wife, Miss Lady, you're signing the rights of this child over in like a, the same fashion as a surrogate parent. And if you decide to leave this union, you're not taking that child with you. And if the woman don't want to sign up, well, son, hey, she ain't in it for the right reasons. She ain't in it to stay in it. And she's trying to see if she can take that child. But it does not appear that she's looking to uh, make sure that this child is raised by the father. I'm working too hard to build up the things that I'm building up for my children. I don't care who don't like it. We see the track record of how these things is going in America. I ain't with it. And I don't want my son to go through it. That means he's got to go overseas and marry in a place like uh, I know Kenya has laws set up like this, where if there's a divorce, the child automatically goes with the dad. If that's what we got to do and he needs to get dual citizenship in Kenya and his wife needs to be in Kenya. Hey, passport bros, I guess maybe y'all got a point because what's going on over here in America decimates fathers, decimates the kids takes wealth out of the father's pockets that he could be building for the kid. I mean, it's just like, it's just a total mess and it's driving us 
to the point where now we're on the verge of World War III and you ain't really got masculine men wanting to sign up for the military in mass numbers. <laughs> and that's a different issue for a different day. But you, you, you're putting a lot on the line by having a random pregnancy when your tail can just put a condom on. Um, my mom always told me, son, don't get a woman pregnant. If you aren't willing, if you don't want to be attached to her for 18 years. <laughs> I've done a lot of things wrong in life. But having a baby out of wedlock is one I didn't do. Now, did I still lose in court when I tried to get custody of my son? Yes. Uh, I learned a lot of things and I'm not going to tell what I learned because I don't know if my ex-wives watch this channel or not. But, um, you pick up a few things when you've experienced them and you know what to do. So, that time for me has passed. And hopefully, you're young enough to where you can take these things into consideration. You can't bring a life into, well, you can, but it's totally unfair to bring a life into this world based on a fun time or a good time. <laughs> can't exchange anywhere from 30 seconds to however many hours of pleasure for 18 years of possible pain for a kid on this planet that you ain't planned for and you're not ready for. <laughs> if you're going to actually be involved in a child's life, it's not cheap. And time is valuable. So the time commitment is costly as well. A lot of women out here don't really want families anyway. And uh, one thing I've learned is to speak up early about the fact that I don't want any children. Uh, so any women who I come in contact with who want to deal in whatever fashion, they not finna be there because they think they're gonna trap me to, with a baby. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> they got guys out there who think they can trap women with babies too. Uh, in New Orleans in particular, I didn't know that that you got a lot of guys down there. They're like, yeah, if they want to keep that woman, they mark their territory. Because they know at some level, they always have access to that woman's life. That is a big old mess. When you done decided to date a woman who has a man intent on being there in her life every day for the rest of her life. <laughs> because they have a kid together. Yeah, the woman might tell you, well, yeah, I don't fool with him. I don't talk to him. Yeah, but still, what does he think? Do you really want to deal with his crazy tale? Is it worth it? Too many women on the planet to deal with that. So not only do you have to vet these women, if you are, and I did a video talking about clarifying uh, how I felt about these types of situations with single mothers and the like. But if you are going to deal with a single mother, you do need to vet her carefully need to find out why and how she became a single mother. Hey, if she's a widow, okay. Well, the Bible says to be a father to the fatherless, and you ain't got no baby daddy drama at that point. At that point, you just got to see if you want to deal with the kid. But what I was about to say is, yes, you need to vet that child. Yes, you need to vet the mother, and you need to vet the father and make sure that's a situation you actually want to deal in. But Back to the topic of today. Man, I want Popeye's chicken so bad, but I got food at home. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, let me go get cussed out by the waitresses and, uh, and the people at the window at Popeye's. I get cussed out for some Popeye's chicken today. It is what it is. Man, you go to Popeye's, they might pull a gun on you and rob you. Um, rather than somebody robbing the restaurant. Come on now. What you doing? What you doing? Get out the way. You watch the wrecks, the, the wreck marks on people's vehicles because that tells the whole story. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this parking lot doesn't lead all the way through the Popeyes. I turned in the wrong place. I'm trying to get chicken. They're trying to get money out this bank. Anyway, let me see what that line is like, too. Hold on. Let me, let me be distracted one more second. Let's see this line right here. Anyway. Going back to should you have a child right now or not. Look, if, I, if you're not in some type of marital agreement and you don't have 
money to where you're saving money every month why bring a child into check to check life which turns into poverty as soon as you have some type of emergency situation why does that child deserve that whoever told you that's a blessing to bring a child into this world that's got to live a hard life I, I really would like for you to reconsider that. <laughs> now, I do know a guy who got married very, very, very early, but this was in a different era. But nonetheless, he did get married early. He did it on purpose so he could have his kids early. And they 40 something now, him and his wife, and they are um, free. They don't they don't have to not free. They have an empty nest. Yeah. Uh, the guy had a point, but that's a different era, different time. I don't know if you can pull that off now. If your money ain't right and you ain't in some type of real marital agreement where you're protected as a man, I would say no, don't get these chicks pregnant. You're dealing with a different type of woman and a lot of them ain't even going in it for the long haul to be a wife. They just really want that kid and they want to leave and go and now your kid has, you got to fight to see your kids. You got to pay to see your kid. You got to pay child support. Man, there's better ways to do it. You take your time with having kids. <laughs> and the older you, now the older you get, you know, depending on how your life is going. I got a homeboy who's in his 40s. See, my youngest is um, seven. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this short. Stop this short bottom line kids are not a toy they're really a lifelong commitment yes they uh, are a legacy also but you want them raised right and you want to do the process right don't just be having random babies it's going to affect you it's going to affect this woman and it's going to affect the child so try your best to make sure that all those effects are as positive as can be you need to vet that woman's family too because you don't want to be leaving your kid with child molesters and stuff like that see if they have mental illness in the family you, you just because you have a healthy seed, you can still plant it in unhealthy ground, and that that's another battle in itself. Um, so much to look for. Make sure you and that woman want the same things in life. Um, just a lot to think about. But random babies is a big no, don't do it. Please share this uh video because I don't know what's wrong with little dudes with these random babies with these random chicks. <laughs> Hit the like button because you know I'm telling the truth whether you have kids or not or whether you're a random baby maker or not. <laughs> um, you're welcome to leave comments. Please share share the video like I said. Um, you're welcome to subscribe also. Be a man. Stay a man. Never lose the will to survive. Never lose the will to win. But I do want you to lose the will to have these random babies. You don't need that kind of will. That's that's one time I want you to be a quitter. You go ahead, put that kind of on, uh, and, and whatever that is in your in your body that makes you want to be like, yeah, I'm gonna have a baby. No, stop it. Lose lo lose the will to win in that situation. I'm finally telling you a time when you need to lose the will to win. No, don't do it. Don't have that kid. If that woman's begging you for that random baby, uh. And to take the condom off, you better lose the will to take that condom off and lose the will to inseminate that woman because you're going to regret it.